Oh hey, didn't see you there. My name's Kyle Watt. You may recognise me from other YouTube videos such as beating Celtic into the quarterfinal of the Scottish Cup, winning the Scottish League Cup, getting to the knockout stages of the Europa Conference League, and all this less than two seasons. So you might ask why I'm addressing this video to you, Dave. And it's quite as simple as this. I believe that I would be the best candidate for the vacant Aberdeen job. Obviously, it's going to be hard to take over, you know, such a big job in Scottish football. Also, the fact that McInnes has been there for eight years. It's, it's been a, a long time and he's ingrained himself into the club culture. So whoever takes over, you know, needs to be the right guy. Now, you, you may ask yourself, you know, what qualities can this guy bring to the role? Well, I mean, for one, I'm not Scott Brown. Two, I have a great track record of building relationships at clubs. Just ask my previous employers. Hello, I am Mexican superstar El Watiguez. Now, when I tell you that Kyle Watt was one of the greatest managers that we ever had at Tijuana FC, you better believe it. Now you're asking me about Kyle Watt? Cal Watt may be one of the greatest managers to ever grace the great state of Texas. The things that man did for soccer will never be forgotten. Alright? Yeah, I don't really know much about soccer. I just kind of come here for the, the fret parties. Uh, who? who? Cal Watt? Cal Watt? Uh, he's a good guy. He's a pretty good guy. Yeah. What does he do again? The soccer coach. Soccer coach. Yeah, he's probably a good soccer coach. Yeah. yeah. Party on, man. Let's go soccer. I have what you could really call a tactical prowess. All you really need to look at for that, you know, is my Celtic beater formation, which is a uh, me well over the years. Dave, Dave, I know you're a busy man, I know you're a busy man, uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time, obviously you've, you've taken time out of your day to watch this and I really, really do appreciate that, um, thank you very much for, for that. But I'm guessing because of that, the fact that you are so busy, you, you have not had a chance to watch my, my Football Manager um, series here on YouTube in Aberdeen and I understand, I understand you're busy, um, I would recommend you watch it because uh, it is solid. However, with that, I just want to take you through it, ju just what I've managed to accomplish with Aberdeen in essentially 18 months um, within the role. So in just under two seasons, I've taken Aberdeen from a bank balance of 2 million to just over 10 million. Now, you know, I understand my role as manager of Aberdeen is mainly, you know, to get the results on the pitch. But as a businessman, Dave, I'm sure you can't turn down that extra 8 million in the bank. Don't ask where it came from. In the transfer market as well, I have made some stupendous deals. I have brought in Francisco Ortega. You don't know who he is? Well, neither do most of the teams in the league when I absolutely sniped him from Villiers. He is now worth 9.5 million and we got him on a free transfer. Again, Dave, think of the money. Now, talking of free transfers, um, there's also a guy of Rafa Mir. Wolves, who I've also brought in on a pre-contract. He's currently worth three million pounds. I can see that definitely going up. And I think the fact that if we can, you know, pull that off, you know, some money in the bank, Dave. Again, think of the money. Now, not only have we made some improvements on the field, you know, Ortega, Mir, and we've also brought back Kenny McLean, so that there's a lot of improvements on the on the field. Also made improvements in our backroom staff. I've managed to secure Dennis Bergkamp as our attacking coach and with the relationship I've built with him so far, I imagine he'd be happy to come on board. Just give me the word and I'll give him a quick call. And the caveat to all this, Dave, is that well, some managers would ask for the big bucks to come in and manage a team like Aberdeen. I don't really mind. I'd do it for free. Just give me the call, Dave. I'll be right there. So, I look forward to hearing back from you, Dave. My DMs are open if you follow me on Twitter. Give me a shout. 
and uh, start negotiating, shall we? Catch you later.